you, you can go down, you understand why when you pray, God must listen to you. For God to listen to you doesn't mean that you must act. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. You are praying, right? Mm -hmm. But for God to act is not you. Mm -hmm. It must be Him. Amen. You, your prayer must be directed to who? To His ears. Mm -hmm. But you don't control God to do something. Mm -hmm. If we can control God, God is not existing. Mm -hmm. But if we control, or you can't control God. God really is existing. Because if we can learn to control God, it means we can be somehow. But if today you can learn something, go down myself. When I am crying to you, yes. when my hands are lifted up to your holy place. Uh, wait. When I'm doing I'm crying to you. When my hands, it means that your hands must surrender. Amen. In prayer, whatever you're doing. You must make sure when you pray to him, he must be listening. But after listening to you, also you must surrender all to him. Amen. Are you hearing that? Amen. You must do what? Surrender all to him. Because in prayer, it's where you must understand that as long as he's hearing me, let me also surrender to him. Amen. It's what the Bible says, right? Amen. Good down. Do not take me away with the sinners. Wait there. Now, it shows that, okay, when I surrender, do not take me away with who? The yes. sinner. It means that now I have surrendered all whatever I have committed the wrong. Amen. Do you get that? Amen. So now, you must understand that when I'm praying, I must also do something for this God to remember me. Amen. Because when you're praying and you don't surrender to God, it means that you have prayed. Yes. Yeah. And how can God hear your prayer? Because God must listen to the prayer of someone who is so humble. Amen. And to be humble is to say that I lift my hands up. I surrender. Amen. So the moment you surrender all, you will avail himself. Amen. But let me tell you the truth. God, you will never control you. Amen. Say my name. Amen. Amen.